Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2. New music, new sound. Wait, that's the same thing. Let's ignore that. New update. So the Universe Sandbox 2 team did email me telling me that there was a new update and that made me very excited because how long have we been waiting for the actual Alpha 19 release? A while. And although we have been looking at all the dev builds, it's always nice to see something official. <laughs> um, I was actually correct though, it did come before Christmas, and actually it came right after Election Day, much earlier than I thought, and if you haven't been alive for the past week, yes, Trump was elected as the new president, so Universe Sandbox 2 correctly uh, predicted the presidency, which <laughs> did better job than the media. So, let's begin. First off, if uh, you haven't been watching, this update is the Rush Limit, where basically when planets or objects get too close together, they will heat each other up by ripping each other apart inside, and literally rip each other apart. So, by showing Mercury, we can see uh, that because it's smaller than Earth, Earth's attraction on it is ripping it apart. And, honestly, even though Earth's kind of winning the ripping apart war, it's causing a whole lot of problems for itself, because those asteroids are hitting it very hard. Mercury itself, also not doing too well. It did just kind of have over half of its maths ripped out. Um, this makes simulations a lot more realistic and adds a lot of things we can do. I mean, heck, we just made a ring around Earth without using the ring tool. That should say something. And, oh, Mercury is getting very small, so pretty much just a little asteroid. Okay, so, the Rosh Limit not only works for things that are bigger and smaller than each other, but if we grab the Locked Earths, you can see that it will actually rip uh, material from planets that are pretty big. And it can actually have some interesting effects if we do something like this. No, nope, not that. Let me find the one. Ah, as you can see, <coughs> they're ripping each other apart, but one has gotten more mass just randomly, which is going to cause the other one to basically be absolutely demolished. Yeah. And this Earth is the winner, now having exactly two times the mass. But, guess what? That's not all. Things can now be vaporized. Meaning if I plop in a star stupidly close to Earth, Earth is going to feel the pain and get vaporized. Literally. It, it just got l e everything. Even the iron core is now being vaporized because it's really hot. And this vaporized material is being pulled in towards the uh, giant star we've got here, Sirius. And Sirius is gobbling up Earth. How sad. Poor Earth. It's okay, though. Um, also, there's little new tags on all of the different simulations, which basically say, it's new, believe it or not. We have new simulations such as the temperature test, where... Uh, this Earth just basically vaporized itself. There's nothing left. Uh, completely gone. Also, that meant my headphones are dying, so it's not let me plug them in. Okay, so, let's see. We have Earth and Sphere of Moons, which is probably a lot more laggy now. Because if I think about it, even though there have been a lot of things done to make the game faster, these moons are actually going to interact with the Rosh Limit, which is going to be interesting, as they're all now ripping out their own atmospheres, and basically, yeah, all the particles from them being ripped apart around Earth. Lag. <laughs> but that's okay. Lag isn't a problem. Well, except it kind of is sometimes. But it's okay because with a complex uh, simulation like this, we can always expect some lag. Until, of course, quantum computing is invented, which I will embrace. It's like an Earth and 8 series, where these uh, series will slowly be ripped apart. The further away they are, the less they are affected by the Ross limit. And the outer one actually isn't being affected at all. Well, no, it isn't. It isn't even heating up. 
while the closer ones may not be heating up much, but there is diff uh, definitely fragments being rubbed out. Let's continue looking through the different things. Um, oh, yes, supernovas. Supernovas have been completely rewritten pretty much. Um, well, I don't know that. I didn't code it. But they have been very much changed. Now when they explode, they can be different colors and go in... Well, we have stretched supernovas before. But the particle system for them was also redone. So now you can delete parts of a supernova. <laughs> they also affect planets. Like... Venus has just been vaporized. It's gone now. Hey, Earth, how are you doing? Oh, you're being vaporized too. Goodbye. Uh, you're going to be done vaporizing soon so that I can say goodbye. Nah, Earth, Earth doesn't feel like going away. But even Jupiter is taking a beating. Like, it, it still has 317 Earths of mass, so I don't think it's going to be, like, destroyed by this. But I do think that it hurt. I mean, if we continue, let's see how far uh, Jupiter gets basically uh, ripped apart before the supernova isn't affecting it anymore. Uh, down to 274 Earths. Jupiter, now the smallest it's ever been. Well, that's a lie. I mean, Jupiter was probably the size of a grain of sand. Uh, before it started coalescing into a giant behemoth of a planet. But let's continue. How about a supernova close up in real time where we can see all the different particles at first just there and they're slowly going to expand at different speeds leading to the beautiful supernova. Oh, this one looks a bit more orange. Way And one supernova later and there is the normal supernova too where you can just delete the whole oh shh i didn't say that thought there was okay um explosions have been rewritten or changed i have to stop saying that don't know what the code's like um but they have been changed so now they look better have more realistic effects vaporize things nearby you know all that fun stuff we couldn't live without and I don't think star evolution has been changed too much um don't quote me on that here goes the Sun expanding as it gets older oh now it's really expanding Oh, it's kind of stopped expanding oh because it just Nova no, no, nothing really happened there okay well what else has been changed you may ask well the particle system was changed which means the galaxies were now if I feel like it I can delete half of a galaxy yes goodbye half of the Milky Way same with you Andromeda uh, oops goodbye half of Andromeda now they aren't even like spirals they're half spirals semicircles semicircles fighting for the right to be the best semicircles okay so let's continue because there is so much stuff um whoo so I've already went through all that oh yeah new models uh, we'll, we'll go in a new thing to show these new models such as not users objects it's just objects oh what is this is this a marble this is marble, so I'm assuming it is. You know, this doesn't look like any marble I own, but it's 5 grams and 8 millimeters in length. So, yeah, this is what marbles look like. <clears throat> doesn't look like they just used a planet texture for it at all. Um, so let's go to these marbles. Air quotes. <laughs> and... <laughs> See if they have little explosions too, like marbles do. Oh no, they don't. They just merge. Marbles. <laughs> so many marbles. Also, the very, very important cue balls. A space game definitely needs all the pool balls, which were there before. So, let's see. Was anything changed with the jack o' lanterns? Nope. Not really. We also have the monolith. I'm not really sure if the monolith does anything, but there is a monolith, so 
if you're into that movie, uh, you will be proud. It's also very reflective, like, ooh, it disappeared. Ooh, it's back. Wait, let's test multiple reflections, even though I doubt it actually works. Because 99% sure this game was made in Unity because I saw a development video of it in Unity. Um, but are we able to reflect from the other reflection? Come on. Nope. I was I was looking at it so that I would bounce off of one monolith to the other and then be able to see the Milky Way, but no, that's not a thing. I didn't think it was a thing anyways because things get very complicated with reflections in computers. So let's look through uh, more objects that are actually new. We have the police box from, you know, I don't know what that's a reference to. <clears throat> don't get mad, I know what it's a reference to. And we have the pyramids, which I do know what that's a reference to. You know, pyramids. And if enough pyramids are eaten by a bigger pyramid, they'll actually be like comparable to, you know, uh, Io. Yeah. Let's see who wins. Jeez. Didn't even put up a fight, Io. You've been completely destroyed. Okay, let's see. Is there anything else that we could possibly go over? Um... I'm not sure, actually. Oh, they have these. I don't know if these are new. I've just never looked at them before. Uh, we go in here. Ah, choreo, like choreograph, and look at this, there's like cool designs that the orbits make. Whoever discovered these needs to get a cookie, um, for their great work. So, uh, Universe Sandbox 2 team, I know you emailed me, so you must slightly watch my videos. G give that employee some food, they deserve it. Not to imply that you starve your employees, even though you shouldn't really be the one to supply them with food but you know oh man this is making a very interesting design now oh is it over oh maybe it isn't whoa what what is going on that is so cool I think it's over now wait to turn it around are you serious What's gonna happen now? They're all so close together, are they just gonna be flung out crazily? Or is something like really artistic going to happen now? Oh, that got flung a little bit that way. Those are now like, what? <laughs> I think that it is no longer symmetrical. What's going on? Yeah, I, I think the artistic part of this has now died. But that was pretty cool for a while. I'll admit it. And how about a f flower? Let's see how this works. Now you know you've got a good physics system when it's able to work like this reliably and not mess up. I can't imagine how much work they put into getting everything perfect. I will be able to imagine it soon though because <laughs> voxel space is gonna need a physics system that's pretty good. Yeah. That's not over, voxel space. Still in development. Um things are getting slightly more complicated for it, but it's looking a lot better. And a lot less blocky. <clears throat> Marching cubes. Okay, continuing on, let's see. Is there anything left that I have failed to mention? Anything. Earth between suns, still the same it used to be if you throw one thing at it, it's slow, well, it slightly gets off, and now it's on a collision course with a star, which it's never going to meet, because it's just going to try, and then it's going to fail, and then it's going to try again, it's going to fail again, it's going to try, fail, try again, fail again. <laughs> 
Poor Earth will never get its way. Oh, and now there's the particle I shot at Earth, which actually got close enough to uh, be vaporized. Not even Earth got that. Not even Earth got to be vaporized. Oh, maybe now. Nope, not quite. Now, if Earth gets closer to the other star, um, which I don't think is physically possible, but if it gets flung closer to the other star than this one, then it will swap. But I'm thinking mathematically that's not going to happen. This, yeah, this guy is just being completely destroyed. Nah, Earth is not going to cross that line. Even if it really wanted to. And Earth doesn't want to, because Earth doesn't have a brain. Sorry to say it. <laughs> if it did have a brain, it would have kicked humans off of itself a long, long time ago. And I think we're going to end the episode here. Alpha 19 is a great update, and I hope that everyone goes and check uh, checks it out. If you wouldn't, well, haven't gotten Universe Sandbox 2 yet, I really suggest getting it, maybe for this Christmas. It's a great game, um, and we're going to have more videos in the future for new versions of Universe Sandbox 2 and just ridiculous things we do on it. And jeez, this music is like really, really depressing right now. Gosh, can I like, I think, I think I can actually change the song that's currently playing. D no offense, uh, but it's like so calming in like non-action explosions. Michael Bay would be shaking in his grave if he was dead. You know, now that I realize these are all really calming I mean, at least this one has a drum. Marching people into battle. Nah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you all for watching. Leave a like and subscribe. It really does help. We will have a stream this weekend. And I will see you all next time. Do, do, do. This song is, like, going to be the most known song for this game. Because it's been in it for, like, forever. I'm going to stop talking now and actually end the video.